I was on a business trip to London, and I got off the plane, and I felt like I was having a heart attack. Your world stops then. Everything, you know, everything, nothing's moving around you anymore. You know, you're just, uh, you're, you're, you're in cement. So I had to have my entire lung removed. In uh, November 2008, they found tumors on my left lung. We couldn't do surgery, we couldn't do radiation. They couldn't damage that lung anymore because that was my main source of oxygen. If my life was a baseball game at that point, I was probably in the bottom of the seventh, top of the eighth, and uh, we were running out of options. Over the last 30 years, we discovered that for many kinds of lung cancer, there are very specific genetic changes within the cancer cells. What's different in the genes between a lung cancer cell and a normal cell that's in the rest of the body? How do those gene changes cause cancer? How can we use the understanding of those gene changes to make a new treatment that will eliminate the patient's cancer? Those patients that had those cancers with those specific genetic changes could then be given a very specific therapy. It changed the view of lung cancer from being sort of an amorphous blob, there's no specific treatment, to a disease where you need to understand the specific genes and you can target the treatment to the specific genes. Not one doctor could have done it, not one team could have done it. It was everybody working together to make it happen and it really, again, transformed the treatment of everybody that has lung cancer. literally give people a prescription and they go to, the, they go to their local pharmacy, get, get some pills, they take a pill. It's, it's like almost, uh, it's unbelievable. I would say by the fifth or sixth cycle, which is 15, 18 weeks in, we were already seeing tumors uh, reducing uh, or cavitating. From, you know, a, a point of hopelessness and a point of uh, fearing that life was short, suddenly was able to live for years and years and years. Um, today is my 611th day on this clinical trial. And I had scans two weeks ago, and my oncologist and my pulmonologist cannot see any tumors anymore on my scans, which is unbelievable. My pulmonary function is the best it's been in eight years. I feel great, and for the first time in three years, my oncologist is using the word remission kind of put it in its simplest terms, they get their life back. You know, the kind of life they were leading before cancer is their life again. So uniting against lung cancer was really the very first foundation that was dedicated specifically to research on lung cancer. The very first support that um, my laboratory received from a foundation that was dedicated to lung cancer uh, was really critical in helping us do this. And United Against Lung Cancer has really tried to give special uh, attention to those people and to fund uh, per, not just projects, but the people behind them. I think if there's one thing people could take from hearing my voice today and seeing my face is to multiply my face by thousands and realize what a difference um, research and funding can do to make a difference for the number one cause of cancer deaths in the world. And that the world needs to make lung cancer a na national health priority. And we need research, we need funding, uh, we need more advocates because we don't have many because they don't, they don't live long enough.